Hello everybody and welcome back to a uh, another episode of Goldhawk, which is it's the Adventures a, of. It's going to be a very short Karazhan week. It's been more like a couple of Karazhan minutes, probably, knowing how the time yep. of Karazhan works. Karazhan femtosecond. Just, oh, well, we're blink, we're, we're up again. Yeah, Goldhawk just sort of like shudders slightly, so, oh, yeah, the adventure never stops. The joy always Except it does, because there's only four books. It, it does, yeah. I mean, I mean, at least he gets to go to a wedding, so, no. Not a good wedding. True. True. Oh, we are spoiling things. <gasps> <laughs> not that we know what happens, obviously. No, 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 of course not. That'd be no, ludicrous. No, no, no. We'll but be last time we left off, though, we uh, were still in the swamp, unfortunately, of the probably yeah. the worst book of the series, i got to be honest. Yeah, this, this book is very much full of, well, if you don't have this thing, you just die. Yeah, they didn't really know how to escalate, did they, at this point? They were just like, do you have the dice of evil? And you're like, no, I didn't pick it up. And they're like, death for you, then. Be oh, fair, can I, I go to... Any, I don't think any of that beats. Do you have the lucky miner's foot in book two? That one's really annoying. Like, you don't have that? Right, you die right before He's dead. the end. just dead. You're like, oh, okay, like, fine. Oh, oh, what, what happens if I have it? Well, you get to now do the fight. Yeah. So I don't just win if I have it. No, 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 you get to potentially not die. Again, the, the, maybe Ian Livingston grew up on too much Sierra point and clickers. Oh no, did you find the one pixel coin that you have to grab immediately along with the lamp and then escape? Also, that other really stupid one, whereas if you're playing it for a second time and you know the codes to something, the game assumes you're cheating. Base you... Quest 6, yeah. if you use the filing cabinet puzzle and you go straight to the solution, the uh, narrator calls you out on it and docks 200 points from your score permanently. Yeah, and you're like, what if I'm playing this for the second time, you gimp? You've got to go through the pro simulation just because you know Roger Wilco doesn't know. Ah, uh, my mistake, my mistake. Ah... Uh... So, we're on chapter 7. We are, we are running into seven. a very, very suspicious looking man. Yeah, very, very sinewy and old. Indeed, and uh, I'm sure you guys will agree with us, he's in fact very sinewy and very old. He, he's definitely not hench. He's, he's not like the most built fucker in the swamp, but you know... We'll 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 go with that. We'll just roll. This is what it. old and sinewy in the swamp is. If you if you like that, you are old and sinewy. I mean, you don't want to see someone who is actually hench in the oh God, swamp. Can you imagine running into someone who looks like Death Adder in the swamp? And you're like, Jesus, what happened to this guy? He's been eating his wheaties. <laughs> he managed to get the golden axe. Yeah, yeah. He's just he's been doing nothing but lifting trees and bog beasts for for weeks. <laughs> oh no. All right. So the mist gradually clears to reveal the soggy swamp in all its hideous glory stretching out as far as the eye can see, which is, of course, no different to any other chapter in this game, I might add. There have been a few bits that haven't been utterly swamp. We've had rain, swamp. and mm. we had a cave, I think. We did have a cave, which and we nice. had a hut. Oh, the hut, that's true. And then we had the, the clearing with the lizard lizards. Yep, and yeah, it's mostly been swamp, though. I mean, that guy was really happy with his spear. He was very happy with his spear. So We'll head over there until we reach that thicket of trees, or... Whatever it is, which I can clearly see is clearly a thicket of trees. I'm making a, a guess because in the swamp, maybe I'm getting swamp blindness. Does, is that a thing? Um, well, it's better than swamp leprosy. Oh, that sounds deeply unpleasant. Well, the swamp just starts dropping off. Oh, wait, the, sw the swamp, swamp drops off, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you fall into the bits where the swamp just disappeared, and it's, it's not good. That's That's terrifying, actually. What if you fall and you never get out? Well, you don't get out. Let's leave. <laughs> Over there! Could be a giant slime beast! A giant slime I'm beast? I don't know why I'm excited about this. Definitely not foreshadowing that statement. I'm, I'm sure whatever it is, we'll have whatever MacGuffin we need to defeat it, right? Well, I hope so. Yeah. Mm. Probably. I mean, we. how are we carrying all of this? You don't have a backpack or a pouch. You don't even have, like, a napkin to store all these items. No, no, it's, it's guard. Oh, yes, yes, he's carrying everything. I mean, we should do something about his back. It looks like it's about to break. He's also got one of those novelty mountaineering sort of rucksacks, and it's looking a bit ridiculous at this point. Well, it's very handy. I mean, it, it d evenly distributes the weight across my body, so I can just walk easily, and also have these nice little, uh, like, things I attach to my shoes so that I don't sink in the swamp. Wait, why don't we have those? You're wearing gold armor, sir. Do you really think it would help? That's a fair point, actually. <laughs> Who needs that when we have gold? Yay, gold! But we'll quickly, we hurry towards the thicket and discover a mangrove tree with long roots standing in the water. Morning. 
disturbing. <laughs> Morning, a voice suddenly calls out. A short, sinewy, old... I would like to direct you all to the picture that should yep. be up on your screen currently. For those who are just listening, please tab in, have a quick look at the picture. This short, sinewy old man. With straggly hair, long straggly hair, which is not really long, nor that straggly according to the picture. Th th this man could win the shot put at the Olympics. This man is so built, you could probably chop, like, onions on his chest. You could probably use him as a shot put to kill a man. And yet, he is short and sinewy. The only thing, like, uh, he doesn't even look that short when you actually look at the size of the tree in the background. He doesn't even look that old! Yeah, I mean, I mean he's, ma he's making a kind of a weird sort of pervert face, but I don't think that makes him old. He's just, he's just pleased to see other people who are also apparently short and sinewy and yeah. old. Fortunately, I'm glad, he's, armor. I'm glad he's not that pleased to see us, if you know what I mean. According to the picture, anyway. Well, because he has a dagger. Yes, and the dagger is sort of erectly pointing. Well, it's all just off to the side, really. I mean, he is old and sinewy. This is true. Very old and sinewy, as we can see. But luckily, he swings down from one of the tree from one of the trees on a vine and lands with a splash in front of you. A dagger is tucked into his belt. I mean, kind I of. I suppose you have come to buy some gum from my yum yum trees. Orlando, I think we should leave. No, I think he's a plot important character. And we Orlando, have to I'm, get, I'm getting real creep vibes going on. Well, p perhaps we need some some gum from the yum yum tree. I feel this is the kind of man back on my home planet of Earth that, uh, unfortunately, you'd find in a van enticing people to buy ice cream. Ah, oh, you can't fool me. <laughs> Everyone loves my yum yum gum. Edge. They'll walk. F yes. What if we just stab him? He's well, old and sinewy. He's old and sinewy. What's what could possibly I'm go wrong? I'm sorry, but I am uh, incapable of stabbing through old and sinewy flesh. Curses. <laughs> They'll walk for days to come here and get it. It's the best in Karazhan. If I could write, I'd put a sign up right here that said, "Treat your tum, chew Wiggly's gum." <laughs> Not bad, eh? Well, do you want some? No. I feel like we kind of have to. <laughs> I, I feel like we're going to get it. I feel like we're going to get in some sort of issues if we take this gum from the creep. I mean, old sinewy man who may or I may am not be. very, very old. I'm, I'm so, so old and sinewy. What 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 ingredients do you put in Wiggly's gum, Wiggly? Well, that's the secret between me and the trees. Everything you're saying makes me more and more nervous. You shouldn't be nervous. Wiggly's gum is the best that comes around in this spot. Well, what, what do you reckon, guys? Should should we should we buy some? Maybe we should just buy some so he goes away. What if we, we buy some to... and then stab him? We don't have to eat it, Goldhawk. That, that is true, actually. What if we give it to some other poor soul who okay, isn't us? It's a good idea. Okay, okay. Alright, I guess okay. we'll, we'll, we'll get some. Oh! Old man! Mm. We will buy some of your gum. Uh, assuming you know what currency is, because you don't right. read. <laughs> I'm not going to spend all day haggling. Oh, I'll give good, you a, good. I'll give you a good lump of gum in exchange for some buzz bomb. The insects around here are driving me crazy. It could be your lack of clothes. Uh, have you considered wearing some in, in the swamp to cover oh, some of your I, old sinewy flesh? I, I tried, but unfortunately every time I put on some clothes, my, my old sinewy body just tore to shreds as soon as I like so much as flexed. Oh, I saw a boxer do that once in on Earth. It was disturbing. Hmm. Boxers can do that. Well, do you have some buzz balm in exchange for Wiggly's gum? Good for your tum and yum yum. <laughs> I. I unfortunately do. Yay! Ooh. So let's let's first do the the proper event. We shall. If yes. we happen to have the, the the gum. We we do luckily, in fact, have some of this buzz bomb, so we can get our gum. Which, in case we go to seven B, if we didn't mm. have this gum, we'd go to seven C. But of course, that is for later entirely. I, indeed, in this timeline, we did, and and Wiggy 
will be very happy. That is his name. He is. Oh, I, I thought it was Wiggly's, as in like the gum. I thought it was like a play on the. Uh, the no, 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 he's gum. Wiggy. His, his name is Wiggy. Honestly, he gives me the Wiggies by being here. Jesus. Wiggy is very happy to have the buzz bomb, and he starts. He starts rubbing it all over himself, sighing in relief from the soothing cream. Wonderful. Now, here's a big lump of yum yum gum in return. <laughs> I suppose you're on your way to doom, are you? Oh, yeah, I forgot we were going to doom. Yep, yeah, perhaps. <sighs> there you go again. Perhaps, perhaps. You are so concerned not to give anything away, Mr. Pig, that you must be on your way to that village of thieves. Well, if you are, you should look out for a one eyed Pete. He'll give you something special in return for my yum yum. Okay, I'm convinced this is all a dick joke now that Ian Livingston's doing. So we've got a guy who's giving out some suspicious gum, who's mostly naked, getting us to see a guy called One-Eyed Pete. Well, maybe he's a pirate with only one eye. May maybe so. Maybe so. He is, he is indeed a pirate with one eye. Or it's in the swamp and it's a giant sort of penis monster. Or it's just a pirate. I mean, get your mind out the gut. This is children's book. That, that is true, actually. But look, a children's book with that guy on it. Look at this guy. At, offering yum yum gum from his tree. He's old and sinewy. That's, uh... Right. Th thank thank must... you for the yum yum gum, mate. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. I must be getting back to my gum making. Goodbye. I, I have one question before you go. Mm. And this worries me somewhat, but how do you make your yum yum gum? Oh, it, it, it's very simple. There's lots of, uh, lots of, uh, mm, lot of repetitive motions and straining and... Right, right. And you you got to, to, to rub the gum just right and... Um, so what you're telling me is it's not fit for human consumption? Well, I mean, One-Eyed Pete eats it plenty. And One-Eyed Pete is definitely a pirate. Oh, absolutely. As, as piratical as they come. I mean, he loves Wiggy's gum. Just can't get enough of it. Orlando. Yeah? I think we should all have an agreement here that we should never speak of this again. Oh, I, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Yes, yes, me, me, me too. We should never speak of this gum ever when we leave the swamp. Because I'm worried if Maris gets wind of it, we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, Maris, he, he, he's my number one customer. Just can't get enough of the gum. Gum all day, all night. Just constantly wants the gum. So Maris frequently comes into the swamp to meet you? Oh, no, 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 no. Maris, Maris gets, sends people out to retrieve the gum. That sounds more like... Retrie retrieve the... Let's just go see the pirates, shall we? But what if there was an alternate timeline where you decided not to partake in Wiggy's? Yum, Whoa, yum. let's go to 7C and find Whoa. out. Whoa. This is a very short alternate timeline. It is, actually. It's, <laughs> it's like, what could possibly happen if you say no? And he's like, fair enough. <laughs> Each to their own. Well, I must be getting back to my gum making. Goodbye. They even copy. Well, I must be getting back to my gum making. Goodbye. And Wiggy scampers off and you continue on with it. And even, like... There's just the, to each their own. That's the only extra line he wrote. Yeah, that's that's literally the eat shit, eat shit line of this book. Well, you're like, dead if you decide to go see the pirates. Did you, uh, did you want to lose this book or not? Well, I, I don't want to lose this book. Then get the pissing gum, then. Jeez. Buy the gum and get the thing and... Uh, I don't like Wiggly because he scares me. Let's just leave. Oh, don't worry. We're going to move to a much nicer person than number two. Yay! Looks like death. Oh, nice. Let's go to number two. Yay! As you walk along, the idea creeps into your mind that the mudworm swamp may never end. I definitely it have seemed... that feeling. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it seems somehow like a place from which you will never escape. <gasps> River ahead! Orlando shouts, snapping you out of your dark thoughts. The river is ink black, wide, and slow moving. While still standing at its edge, you sink knee deep in black mire. An old wooden rowing boat is coming down the river, its oars pulled by a hooded figure wearing dark brown, heavy woolen robes. A brass bell fixed to the boat's bow rings out a single, chilling note, 
as the boat glides to the bank where you're standing. The boatman's face is completely hidden by his robes. A thin hand extends for the baggies leaves. Now, if you know anything about any kind of mythology, but especially ancient Greek mythology, you might have an inkling on who this is meant to be. So, yeah, it's either one of two things. It's probably going to be Karen the Boatman, who helps people mm. cross the River Styx, which is what has been described. Which or... is curious, because we're already sort of knee-deep in the mire and we haven't lost all our memories. Or it's Obi-Wan Kenobi's gothic phase. I mean, I hope it's B, but I get the feeling it's A, and yeah. we just, for some reason aren't on the river sticks and he's just having a holiday in the mudworm swamp. Well, it could be. I mean, uh, Disney Disney haven't milked everything to do with Star Wars yet, so it's very possible we might see this at some point. We might. I mean, it would be interesting. It is a very nice boat, though. Made of... It looks like it's made of wood, but it's also made of skulls. Uh, maybe it's wood painted like skulls, because I feel that it... bone wouldn't float very well. This is not an experiment I'm going to conduct. Actually, in theory, bone, bone might float okay. Although, bone I'm not sure if float. you make it, make it into a boat entirely out of bone it's probably quite mm. heavy magic I love his little bell though it's very good yeah yeah very good bell <laughs> little, little silver bell ding, ding, ding. to cross will cost you two gold pieces isn't it that we're meant to cross your palm with silver I um, hold on hold on let me just uh don't try and rip him off, but, Orlando. Uh, it says it says in my 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 book of evil. Uh, just uh, I'll piss it. I'll say silver. I've been taking gold all this time. Wait, wait do we even have any silver? Uh, oh, curses! Karazan only trading in gold. I will take your useless gold from you to let you cross my river. If you want to pay the boatman to take you across Black River. Wow, that's a creative name! The Black River. The, 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 wa the water is black in colour. It is Black River. I, maybe r the River Styx is copyright infringement on some, like, someone. On, on, like, on who? On, is, on... is, like, Hades gonna come up and be like, Hey, now, see here, Ian Livingston. Maybe, like, Homer from the Odyssey, or, you know, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know who wants who that copyright claim for ancient I Greek. I don't know, but if you want to pay him, go to 2A. But if you have no gold pieces and you just want to wade through, which you can do... Seems legit. I would not recommend it. Could you um, imagine? You're about to cross the River Styx. You're like, and Karen's like, do you have some pieces for the boat? And you're like, nah, man, I'm just going to go myself. And he's like, what? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go across. You, you can't well, The do thing that. is, though, in reality, you dive in and you'd immediately forget what you're doing. And then you'd spend forever on the shores of the Styx, memoryless and... Well, exactly. Lost. Just because Karen's your mate. As long as you pay him. Yeah, if you pay him and you don't touch the water... I feel at this point, if you've died and you've ended up in some sort of afterlife where there's like skulls and bones and death around, and some guy comes up to a perfectly reasonable ass for a couple of coins, I think you just pay him at this point. You know what's the the ironic thing about ancient Greek mythology? Hmm? Most of the gods are horrible, except Hades. Yeah, Hades is alright. Hades yeah. is by far the most reasonable god you'll encounter. If you can get to him and ask him for something, normally he'll abide you. Just just don't turn around when he says that your wife will I turn. do love that. That was, that, that was, um, was that Orpheus and Persephone? Yes. He's yeah. like, well, she's there. She's there. She's right behind you. Now, she's got to trust. She's got to trust. Get, get, out the, get out the underworld and she's fine. But if you turn around at all, she'll turn into dust and... and like and mist or bit. dust or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's like, oh, well, I was just going to go right at the end. He's like, oh, I'm not sure. And she, he looks at the dust and he's just like, you idiot. I think maybe that's a metaphor for having, like, trust in your relationships. Yeah. Just yeah. like, trust, trust, her. trust, trust, you know, trust, we can do it. And then, uh, I love that, he, like, Hades at one point is like, well, I did tell you. It did warn you. I did I... say. Did you not trust me? I mean, I'm only the god of the underworld. Doesn't, doesn't even, even after all that, doesn't he, um, oh no, he keeps him away permanently, doesn't he? And it's not, because it was, um, was it, was it Orpheus? It wasn't Persephone, was it? It was Orpheus and, oh. It's a sing. It's a singing. It's a singing lady. Uh, they're yeah. actually in the. They're actually in the game Hades as well. Both of them. Because mm. uh, Persephone's the uh, the queen of the underworld, but he lets her leave like every like every half year or something. Year. Half a year. So the half. So the um. Yeah. So that the plants can grow. That's like, well, why there's again. That's, that's pretty reasonable. Winter. In terms that's of like old, yeah, exactly. In terms of like old gods of like who are generally massive dicks about pretty much everything. You do have to remember that like the reason why all these gods exist to begin with is that their their mother decided to feed their dad, who is a titan, rocks instead of them, so that he didn't eat them. Yeah, yeah, and they, he got, they only got... did that because his dad was hot. Like just a whole 
like relationship of horribleness. Yeah, I mean, truthfully, like you've probably got some sort of parental issues at that point, right? Like you've got you're gonna have some trust issues. You're gonna have some like general relationship woes. It probably explains why realize, Zeus, Zeus and Poseidon are such knobs. You do realise we're talking about this right in front of Sharon, right? I mean, he's part of the mythology. And all are, that. You, are you bastards going to pay me, or what? Well, I suppose you probably should. Uh, yeah, yeah let's give him... Uh, here's some gold pieces that I probably still have. Stepping onto the boat, you ask the boatman why he has chosen to row up and down such an unpleasant river. I am cursed... Cursed to buy a plague. It's best that I'm here, where only the bad or foolish dwell. Cursed to this lousy book, stuck on a chapter no one cares about. You know that is me. There aren't even page numbers on the book. We don't even know what page you're on. We'd have to count. It's true. We're so forgotten about you can't even find me. And the pages are falling out. Wait, 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 go back a bit. You said you had a horrible plague. Uh, y yes. This this plague only affects organic living people and not tin pigs and magical swords. Correct. Oh, that's handy. Oh, that's good. Oh, wait, Goldhawk, aren't you living and made of flesh? It's true, but I'm also not from this world, so I'll probably get away with it. I'm hey, from, wait, I'm wait. from Earth. But doesn't that mean that you have no resistances to all of the plagues and illnesses in this land? <laughs> I'm probably fine. That was just my stomach making a strange noise. I've I've been chewing that bark. It'll be, be perfectly <coughs> perfectly fine. Mm. Wait. Oh, you, oh, oh wait, you mean an actual up. plague that might affect me? Keep your distance, man. Row hard. You cross the river with your hand held over your nose and mouth, because that's gonna work. I just realised that Goldhawk is kind of a dick to service staff. He really is. He's not a nice person. He's the kind of guy who clicks at waiters, I bet. What a dick. And like, we jump. paid this man for a service, and he's just, like, telling him what to do. That's just to be fair, he also went, Oop, by the way, I have deadly plague. That's actually true. This is something you kind of need to put on the, like, aside. Warning, rowing man has deadly plague. Yeah, warning, do not, do not have any skin-to-skin -skin contact with dodge man. Yeah. Actually, I remember one of the games I LP'd so long ago. One of the puzzles was... You had to like give gold to the ferryman, otherwise he'd just throw you overboard. He's 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 having none of your shit at this point. He's like, yeah, no, no, I think you need to pay me at this point. Yeah. But then again, this is also a guy where the ferryman literally has like an engine on the back of his boat. It's a weird, weird game. But you cross the river with your hand held over your nose and mouth, and you jump out of the old boat as soon as you reach the far bank. If you are chewing a piece of bog tree bark, go to two C. But if for some reason you didn't chew the bark like an idiot, you go to 2D. I love the so also implication the... that we've been chewing this bark for like, what, six hours? It's 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 like the, the infinite gobstopper. It never runs out. Just, just as well, really. So, presuming you did get the item that means you don't lose, you go to 2C. Oh, nice. And what happens in 2C, dare I ask? The swamp riders know all about surviving in the swamps. The bark stops you from catching the plague. Oh. Well, that's good. Yeah, Come on, yeah, Orlando. Yeah. Let's keep going. I don't trust this boatman that has been perfectly reasonable and paid us. And we paid him and he did the service we paid him for. But I don't trust no, him because I don't trust Obi-Wan Kenobi's gothic phase. Go to ten. But what if you were an idiot and you either didn't get the bark or you haven't been chewing it? Well, Yay. Go to 2D. Alas, touching the boatman's hand when you gave him the gold means you have caught the plague. Even though you feel well now, before the end of the day, you will perish. Aww. Your adventure is over. Like, it doesn't even let you keep going. That would have been the crueler thing. You just keep going, and then, like, near the end of the book, did you touch the boatman's hand without Bodhi Bart? You just go, eh. Literally old yeah. adventure game logic. Like, you just get, like, 90% through the game, and it's like, now, did you do the thing? Like, well, well, what no. thing? Did you... you didn't do it, did you? It won't even tell you. It'll just be like, you dropped dead. Can you imagine you just, over, you just, you just you, like, literally just like, oh, by the way, did you just think turn to, turn to three? And you get a three, and it says, you're dead. Oh come on! What? The, no! I feel absolutely for dead. But luckily, we did chew this bark because you know why would but, you not? But what if hypothetically, mm. not that we're going to do it, because uh, normally we'd be going to to number ten. We would. But what if we decided now nah, we're just going to swim through 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 the river? I don't trust this man. What if we just swim through the river, Orlando? 
I mean, I I'm buoyant for some reason. I so... wouldn't recommend it. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Y you don't bathe in it, do you? Um, no. Good, no, so he, 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 wouldn't, he wouldn't lie to us. Yeah, it should be fine, then. I mean, he must have got his plague from somewhere that... Ah, it's probably nothing. No, it's, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Right, Orlando, you're going to have to climb on my shoulders. Luckily, I'm extremely strong and can wade in gold armour and having an, uh, an iron pig on my back. I think you have the body of an old and sinewy man. I'm the oldest and sinewiest man ever. Let's go. I don't like the look of the boatman. With Orlando in place, you wade carefully across, but your feet still sink into the thick mud at the bottom of the river. You're about halfway across when you lose your footing and fall forward with a splash. Oh, you, shit! You, you just managed to hold on to Orlando. Don't let go! Tin pigs don't swim at all well! Me, me, me neither. Don't worry, guys. I can hold Orlando and Edge with both of my hands Wait, and use my powerful were... legs. Did you say you were buoyant? I'm buoyant, but I don't swim well. We could use you as a life jacket. Grab onto Orlando! With your hand free, you grab a log which is drifting down the river. And you sit, Orlando, on top of it. You have hardly any energy left because of the weight of your armour. Oh, finally! Oh, no. I mean, who'd have the thought armor. that gold armour would be quite heavy? You decide just to hang on to the drifting log for a while because that's going to end well in a miry swamp. Yeah, I'm sure we won't get attacked by any bog beast. No, we'll be fine. At a place where the river narrows, you kick with your legs and push the log over to the far bank. Orlando is grateful to be back on the land again, even though it is not exactly dry. And then you go to 16. Spoiler alert, you don't want to go to 16 right now because there are like two chapters you will miss if you don't go across the river. Yeah, that's the, that's the equivalent, the that's the book equivalent of skipping cutscenes, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to skip a cutscene because, like, part through the cutscene, it'll be like, Ah, to survive this riddle. When you encountered Blaskin back in the outpost, what colour was his scarf? And you're like, <laughs> Oh no, oh, I didn't go to the outpost. To what colour was his scarf? Uh, <laughs> green. Like, oh, Death the, for the you. Crypto factor, wait, 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 when you watched a vi when you, when they watched a video in the Crypto Factor, and it's like, first question, how many balloons were there? And you're like, I wasn't paying attention to the balloons. I didn't expect to be quizzed on this. Stupid scam games. Uh, All right, we are number ten. We'll oh, go to ten. oh, we're gonna find one I eat. Yay! And Hopefully. I hope it's not a penis. It, it might... won't be. It's okay. Oh, phew. Okay. To ten. He, he's not in this chapter though. He's he's in. The... He's in the next one. Who's presumably got one eye. So. Yeah. Chapter ten. It's not long before you come to a cluster of bamboo huts standing above the quagmire on thick poles. The huts are connected by paths made of wooden planks. A sign on the wooden pole reads, Welcome to your doom! Population 13. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and all, right, population yep. 13 and all of them bad. Oh, not only is it unlucky, but they're also bad? I love that they have to put that on their sign. Like, you know, how do we? How will people know that we're evil? Oh, I think we should write Stop. it on the sign. It's not the multiple daggers on the, the bodies of the people and all the skulls on the poles. Nah, we gotta, we gotta tell them on the sign. If we say we're bad there, I mean, we're covering all our bases. And the bottom of the sign says pirates equal naughty. <laughs> Except naughty Wiggy, pirates. Wiggy can't, Wiggy can't read the sign, but he it's can't. okay. He can't. That's why he does business there, because he doesn't know. Yep. You think having only 13 customers, it wouldn't be a great user base, but, you know. Apparently, it's great. It's self-sustaining society, everything. Hmm. Not a too inviting a place, eh, Orlando? I, I could have some fun here. Oh, Wait, are you suggesting about... we just kill all the pirates? I worry about you sometimes, Edge. You always want to fight. Well, I prefer to use my brain to deal with problems. And if you're so smart, how come you're a tin pig? Oh, shit, he's got you there, Orlando. Oh, let me at him, let me at him, I'll totally deck him! Wait, you, you were going to punch a sword? Not so smart, are we? Ooh, <laughs> let me at him, let me at him! Alright, boys. Calm down. Why don't we save some of that angst for the pirates? Alright, fine. Stop wasting fine. time, boys. You tell Orlando and Edge to stop wasting time and arguing. You have more pressing matter of saving Maris' life. That's right, scum. I need this medicine to... I don't actually need this medicine. But they believe I need this medicine. Yeah. 
Oh, I've just had a thought. What what if he just wants us to get him some 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 wiggy yum yum gum instead? You know that thought had crossed my mind, and I think we should all make a joint pack here and now. That if uh, that is in fact the case, we stab him. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Mm-hmm. Especially after mm. all this horrible, swampy, humid weather. Mm. Agreed. Mm. Oh, there's some tough-looking characters wearing leather breeches appearing to us. A tough-looking character wearing leather breeches and a cross belt with daggers, and it appear and it appe- in it appears out of one of the huts and strides down the path towards you. Hurry, my love, what do you want in that? He asks aggressively. That's that's West Country for aggressive, by the way. Mm. Um, we have some goods we want to get rid of. Um, we hear this is a good place to come for buying and selling goods, like um, uh, g- gum maybe, shrug, or what else do we have? Uh, guard, guard. What do we got in our bag at this point? Oh, we have plenty of things here. Mm, we yeah, have yeah. um, we have the gum. We have the bark that you're chewing. That's good. We have various gold pieces. We have the Maris potion of cure everything. Oh, I mugged the uh, the the boatman a, a chapter ago. By the way, we probably got some of his stuff as well. Oh, oh yes, yes. We have his oars. We have Excellent. his plague. We mm-hmm. have. Oh wait, wait, plague. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <sighs> Oh, Hold on. there goes another guard. Hold on, I've got reception. Let me get the aerial. <sighs> <laughs> Hello, is that guards Oh uh, Yes, guards Arama. If you need a guard, we'll guard the guards so we can guard the guard. Yes? Sorry. I need a guard. Ah, excellent. I know exactly where you are. Uh, delivery will be prompt. Ah, fantastic. Thank you. The last one died of plague, so I might recommend uh, a plague immune guard this time, if possible. Ah, excellent. Yeah. Uh, just, just, uh, just step away from that skull on the left over there. Oh, hey, this one. Right. Yep. Right, you are. Yep. yep, yep. Ready. Okay. It, 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 the trans, the transmogrification process should be short, but but horrendously painful for the guard. So just you know. Oh, uh, it's, it's it's honestly it's the screaming that I always look forward to. <laughs> Oh, oh, where was I? Hello, guard. Oh, um, what is he- G? Oh, hello. G? Yes, yes. Uh, oh, oh, uh, a satchel full of stuff next to a plague-ridden corpse. And let me just, uh, good thing I'm immune to the plague. Ah, excellent. I would say avoid the vial with the skull in it, but considering we don't have to worry about that problem. No, um, it'll be fine. Don't we were worry. just going for our itinerary uh, where the, the most unfortunate disaster happened, but uh, oh, okay. don't worry about oh, old guard. These, He's, you know. these things happen. He died as he lived, uh, happy and not of plague. Well, so, it seems like the three things that we could offer this man. Well, we we have a gold key. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, we have this lump of yum yum gum. Oh, I still spot the lucky rabbit's foot. That's always quite nice. Uh, alternatively, there is uh this bag of teeth. A bag of teeth could be interesting. Oh, but what about the uh the spider queen silk? I've heard that might be rather. Oh, yeah, uh, no, uh, he probably wouldn't uh, want that. I don't think uh he. he Maybe too demony spidery for him. Hmm. No. Well, what about any of that, sir? No, my love, it's a bad place to come in at. The man sneers in reply. Show me what you got, and it better be worth my while, innit? Babber. So, of these three items, which will we try and trade first? The gold key, the bag of teeth, or the lump of yum yum gum? Mm-hmm. Alright, well, if we were initially going to give him, say, a bag of teeth, what would he give us? Oh, this would be fantastic. I'm sure this will go fantastically well. So, the bag of teeth. A bag of teeth? Let's see, you're as stupid as your sword of that. That ain't Gert Lush. So, the thug right, draws that. two daggers and strides towards you for combat! Yeah, fighting is worked out by means of dice rolls. The thug has a skill of eight, that's actually quite high. You that should have made high. a note of your present skill. Of Obviously, course we, of course we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we attack first, though, because fuck him. Well, yeah. I mean, in this in this universe, we rolled a ten, so we absolutely destroyed him. He's dead. Rip. Oh my spleen! He needed that. He needed that Did spleen. He? Did he? I, I always so, feel like you do. If we kill this thug, which obviously we do, and we're not mm-hmm. cheating, we go to ten D. Yeah. But if we didn't, obviously we go to ten E. But ten D means uh, we just leave. Yeah. Not wishing to face the other thugs of doom, you you run away. I and mean, then you go to sixteen, which, which again, there's only thirty. Well, there's only twelve of them now. Yeah, it's not that many. They changed the sign now. 
Otherwise, we if you actually did take the hit, you suffer a deep gash in your arm and lose one skill point. Oh, no. As the thug step forward to attack you again, Orlando rushes forward and charges into him like an enraged bull. <laughs> oh my god, my balls! <laughs> The thug, the, is knocked off his feet. <laughs> the thug is knocked off his feet and falls into the plank pathway. Ooh! Ooh, I needed those! Heads and then we just leave. And then we just go to 10D and then we just leave. So Man. we don't want to do that. Man, were they running out of ideas at this point, I think? Yeah. But, obviously, if we didn't just give him a bag of teeth, and instead, maybe a gold key? Yeah, I mean, if we gave him a key... Well, I like this key. I obviously have no idea what it's for. Because it's gold, and it's just a key with no names. But I'll give you a dagger. If you want it. And you can make the swap, and then leave. Oh, alright, all right, I mean, this is all haggling business, ain't your cup of tea, is it? No, we really don't haggle. We just sort of, like, make the trade, as, as it said, and then we, we, we just go. We just, we just leave in silence. But what if the yum-yum-gum was the real way forward? <gasps> oh... Yum yum gum, oh my god, now you're talking. I'll give you like two daggers for some gum. Now, we're happy to make that trade. Oh, and then leave Doom. We can leave Doom oh. again. What if we want to go see One IP? Excuse me, I would haggle with you, fine sir, but you're too local for my liking. What if I wanted to see One Eyed Pete? He wants to see One Eyed Pete, does he? Oh. Sorry, my babber, I think we can arrange that. Come with me. I'll take the C1O Pete. He's a fine lad, he is. He's Gert Lush. Get in here. Alright. You want some nosh? What about you, pig? You alright? You alright? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm good, thanks. What about you, Mr. Sword? I, I literally cannot eat. Can't eat? Uh, it's probably not good for your, uh, good for your gums. They get scurvy, that is. Yes. Alright. Get in here, then, and we'll go see take the C1O Pete. He's in Chapter 10F, he is. Alright, let me just get his door. It's not the gold key that I was going to... It's going it's to the silver... Ah, it's the skull door. I'll just open that one. Can, can, can you read? See. Can I what now? Read. What's read? Well, because it's actually 8, not 10F we need to go to. 10F seems to be the door of eternal pain and suffering, which is book 5 that never existed. And so it's just a void of empty eternal oblivion. You probably don't want to open that door. It's probably why there's only 13 people that live in Doom. I always wondered why that door had teeth on it and growled at people when you went past. Hmm. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, tell you what. I'll take you to see Pete on the other safer door that doesn't growl at people and eat people. How's that? Oh, no complaint. Alright, we'll go. So you know Yay. about sweet... Luckily you know about Pete's sweet too if I take it. Though I, I'm a bit dubious if the, uh, the gum that you're about to give me is actually sweet, personally. Uh, gum doesn't tend to be that sweet. It sort of goes a bit soggy after a bit, but, you know. Well, it is yum yum gum. I mean, it might be yummy. I've never had any because Pete won't give it to any of us because he's a bit of a tie arse. But, you know. He's our leader, so he gets what he wants. And, uh, all right. Follow me. We're going to chapter eight. And away from the door that eats people and souls and, and below lives the one who waits. He growls and the eternal doom that might encounter when we open the door. Sounds lovely. It's alright, actually, yeah, it's a nice little holiday destination, but we're going to eat anyway, so, you know, come on. Mm. To eat! There, there is also a, a thug. I could easily be the thug as well. I could be the thug and... You can do both. I, I got faith yeah. in you. Do it. Yeah. The thug leads you to the largest of the huts and knocks on the door. Come Oi, in. boys! Boys, I got, like, some people in it. Come in! Voice calls out. You go into the hut, where three mean-looking villains are playing cards around a table. There's a pile of gems, jewellery, and gold pieces in the middle of the table. Three kings! A man with an eye patch says coldly, I win! He leads forward and drags the treasure to his side of the table. Cheesy! What you doing bringing this fool and the pig thing into my house? Huh, he called you a pig thing. I mean, that's, that's reasonably accurate, I suppose, but it's not very wait, polite. Wait, your name is your name is Cheesy. I mean, it, do you reckon it's because he smells funny, or because he's uh, he cheats at cards in such a manner so that man everyone finds annoying? So, so well, let me guess: that you, the man who greets people and tries to look threatening and terrifying, is called Cheesy. I mean, 
I didn't pick the name, my mum did, and, uh, you know, she thought I was kind of cute, but I came out a bit yellow, so, because uh, I had the Jordanus in it, so she called me Cheesy. What are you doing bringing these people in here? Uh, well, they got the yum-yums in it. Wiggies? Oh, I don't know, Pete. I mean, probably. I think that's the only gum seller in the in the swamp, isn't it? I mean, uh, yes, Wiggy's best. Beermint or dagger mint? Um, suspicious mint? Uh, what do you reckon, Edge? I, 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 I think it's a 50-50 shot here. Just, just uh, pick one. D d d d dagger mint. Okay, sit down. Let's talk. Zack, get some drinks. One of the men jumps up from the table and hurries into a back room. When he returns a few minutes later, he's carrying a jug and some beakers. You know, that's actually quite Pete, polite for some pirates now I think about it. In indeed. Pete pours out a drink and hands it to you, saying, This fire water will warm you up. If you want to drink the fire water, go to 8A. If you would rather refuse to drink politely, go to 8B. Now, it's a well-known fact that... Uh... Drinking alkaline mahal that uh, pirates might give you is probably bad for your HP. Probably very bad for your HP. So, I'm going to make an assumption we shouldn't drink the fire water. Because probably. in these kind of games, that's probably going to lead us to either A, passing out, or B, dying. Or both. Maybe both. Yeah. So Let's we'll, not drink uh, it first, I say. Let's not drink it. Go to 8B. <sighs> Maybe you aren't such a fool. So... What do you want for the gum? I want information. About what? About where we can find the giant slime beast. <laughs> There's one. Just an hour's walk or so from here. Keep heading north. You can't miss it. Look for the skeletons. Tomorrow, we'll look for yours! <laughs> well, what if I you'll... kill it? You'll need more than that fancy sword to take on a man-eater. Don't call me fancy. Talking I'm... sword, huh? Rare. What do you want for it? Edge isn't sale for any price, not simply because uh, he's my friend, but also it wouldn't be very practical to walk around a swamp completely unarmed. So, uh, well, just tell me what I actually need to fight the slime beast, and I'll give you all of my yum yum gum. Mainly because I'm not touching this stuff with a barge pole. You'll need a warm glow ring to boil it up. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like a chew. <sighs> God. Y yes. Sir. Can I please have the yum yum gum that's Certainly, with your tum tum? Sir. I have the the tweezers here for it. Just passes the tweezers. Yeah, let um, me just hold that. Yep. I just don't want to touch it with my hand. Lovely. All right, here you are, one eyed Pete. Here's your yum yum gum. Oh yes, the yum yum gum that's good for my tum tum. Oh gum gum. Oh, it's so good. Oh yes. I wonder if we should tell him that's been in the same bag as the plague. <laughs> Excuse me, my fine piratical friends. I need some privacy with my yum yum gum. We should, uh, we should give him the privacy he so so needs, perhaps. Yes, but by leaving, you hand over the yum yum gum to One Eye Pete, who smiles and sticks a lump into his mouth straight away. <sighs> you decide to leave and go northward while the thugs are still in a good mood, and you go to sixteen. I got a suspicion that One Eye Pete doesn't know how the yum yum gum is made. I don't think he does. But what if we were an idiot and decided to drink the fire water? Yes, please. I'd like to have a pint of your favourite poison. Ah, well, well, right this way, sir. Let me just put my poison in it. <coughs> ah, a, few minutes after a few minutes after drinking the fire water, your head starts to spin. Everything gets blurred, and you find it impossible to keep your eyes open. Listen, your... little shit. Your head slumps forward onto the table. You're Ugh. vaguely aware of the sound of men laughing, but you're soon out cold. The thieves are quick to steal all your possessions before they dump you in the swamp. Your so, adventure is over. So the only way this works, by the way, is if our good mate Edge and our good mate uh, Orlando decide to let them steal all our shit while we're passed out. Never go on a night out with these two boys. They'll stitch you right up. <laughs> like, what happened to him? Look, I'll cut you a deal. If you let us rob this man blind, I'll give you some gold, and you can make out like kings. Well, <laughs> I mean, seems like a plan. All right, then fine. We don't like him anyway. Bye. Straight, straight in the swamp. <laughs>
But no. Luck- no. Luckily, our friends. Well, I mean, they are lame, but like, luckily, we didn't do that, so we didn't find out what bad friends they are. And we would instead leave on IP and his suspicious gum eating. Oh, all it's the lovely way gum eating. To sixteen. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is this is yeah. what we call the art degradation chapter. Yay. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is major art degradation. You're like, oh man, the thing on the cover looks so amazing. It Different looks so artists cool. did all the stuff on the interior. It's like, oh, oh no. Does it even say who what? the artist was? Uh probably. Let's it says the illustrations look. copyright of Russ Nicholson. Well, there we go. But do you reckon maybe Russ did both, but he painted the front cover, but didn't do oh. the? I guess that's what it is. Because the front one looks know. more like a painting picture, and this one looks like a It probably a is a painting, and these are probably yeah. drawings, yeah. They only, they only paid him for one painting per book. I mean, probably cost him, you know, 50-odd quid back in the night. He's expensive, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty... Oh, the cover illustration's by Simon Dewey. Oh, really? Oh, is that on the inside? on the back. So the cover oh, on the back. It's... Yeah, the cover illustration's done by somebody else. Oh, yeah. So, it's so yeah, the cover one's done by that guy, and then Russ, or Russ, does the inside one. To be fair, they are good drawings. They are. It's like, just, you know... We poke fun at them, but they, they are they are good drawings. They are, yeah. I mean, no one, there are, there's no actually bad... Is, well, except maybe Tarzan. Wiggly. I don't know. He's a bit creepy. <sighs> I don't like that like, one. Are we just more, more pointing out the, the difference in... Yes, uh, indeed. Right, 16. We're all my pages are starting to come undone. Oh, no. It was great before it all falls apart. <laughs> exactly. You reach a part of the swamp where the mud and slime are especially deep and dank and thick. Uh, and there's almost no firm ground to walk on. Dark, dank pools of black water that have maybe 20 ferrymen across them. And mud all around. Insects uh, that buzz loudly that may attack you for two skill points. And small reptiles Wait, no. that are very, very proud of their little spears are heard scurrying through the mire. Perhaps we should go another way. I mean, I, I, I could barely get through this. Mm, I knew that sooner or later I'd have to carry on my shoulders, my short friend, that I may or may not have done in an early chapter, depending on which timeline we're in. What? I just had this weird flashback to something that may not have happened. Ooh. Oh, I have Stirring. those too. Like, I, I have flashbacks that we actually stay with Wiggy and we, we join him in his, his yum yum gum enterprise. I mean, he does make probably make quite good profit. I don't want to ever return to that memory. Can we please keep going? <laughs> I think when we're done, we should mm-hmm. uh, ask Maris for a favour. I mean, we did save his life. We should get one. Mm, and dangerous, I think, but go ahead. And I think we should telefrag a rock onto Wiggy. Worth a try. We could, I'm sure Maris likes pain and suffering. I'm sure he'll be going for it. Although he does yes, like the gum as well. Mm. Mm, yes. Tricky conundrum. We'll have to ask him. Hmm. Suddenly, the surface of the mud pool in front of you is broken, and a tentacle with purple suckers <laughs> rises out of the mud, wraps itself around Orlando, and lifts him high into the air. See attached image. <laughs> More tentacles appear from th- and thrash around. Then the beast head emerges from the mud pool. It looks a bit like an octopus's huge gnarled head and has two small eyes and a beak. It's a not small eyes, and that is not a beaked mouth. And that's not really an octopus, is it? Because it's no, it's it's only got well, it's got two six. tiny little, it's got two tiny little mustache yeah. tentacles. I guess in a push, you could say it's a hectopus. Oh no, no, wait, no, no, wait, no. I I thought I saw one in the top bottom left, but that's just the continuation of the it's one. It's the other there. ones, no, yeah, it's... yeah. So it goes uh, a hexapus or a quadipus uh, if we're if we're calling this mustache. Help! Big talk! Help! Sorry, uh, Orlando. I'm trying to work out if it's an octopus or a hexapus or a quadipus. Well, actually, I am a septopus, but I lost one of the tentacles in a tragic accident involving yum yum gum. Oh, uh, oh, my man! I'm so sorry to hear that. I know. I've been struggling with it, but I feel like I've finally gotten to grips with my ailment, and I'm moving ahead in life now. Oh, that's really good. I'm glad to hear that. It's it's nice yeah. that you don't let something like that set you back, you know? I know, and uh, celebration, I've decided to kill all of you. I was about to say, I was about to say, I hope this doesn't affect our impending fight, because I have great respect for you for pushing forward. No, 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 no I, I know, it's, it's regrettable, but it's my job as a giant mudworm beast to, like, kill all of you, and, 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 and yes. Understandable, it's my job as protagonist to uh, cheat and win, so uh, I hope it's wait, nothing personal. Wait, I, I'm sorry, what? Oh, I, I said the I said the inside bit out loud again. Um, it's my job to win. Ah, yes. Well, you can try, but you will find that I am more of an absent. So we're going to cheat them, right? Oh yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, well, what? No, 
It says he had a skill of nine, but we have a skill of whatever we need. So, <laughs> it's fine. Uh-huh. To combat is roll. Yeah, you have actually no. You have no choice but to fight the fearsome giant mudworm. Sorry about this, my chap. You will do this by means of dice rolls. Dun, 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 you have dun, a skill dun, dun, of nine, but uh, oh look, we rolled the dice and we got a seventeen on two d six. Oh my god, how did this what? happen? I can't believe uh, we won. I'm sorry wait, about that, this, that's mudworm. Not even, that's, uh, well, that's not even possible. How did you roll seventeen? Oh, these are these are Earth dice. They have they go up to sixty three. You're, you're cheating, aren't you? Yes. There's nothing I can do to stop this, though, is there? No. I'm resigned to my fate. Kill it! <laughs> There's six left! Give him... <laughs> oh, three is enough. Your total is nine or more. You kill the mudworm and go to 16A. Woohoo! But, but if it's le- if a total number two dice is eight or less, the mudworm manages to wrap one of its tentacles around your arm. If your skill is 7 or 8, you go to 16B. If it is 6 or less, you go to 16C. Ooh, let, without turning the page, let me guess what happens on 16C. Go on! I think it lets us go and we get to leave. No, wait, it's the Close. other one. We instantly die. I mean, I mean, you're close on the letting us go. Uh. Apart from the fact that if you happen to get 6 or less and 16C... You're too weak to free yourself, and the mud won't drag you down oh, before your adventures are. Oh, you what die! What are the chances? Oh, oh. That's so unlikely. No, but well, what if it was between 7 and 8? Oh, well, if it's between 7 and 8, then uh, you have just enough strength to pull your arm free, but the mud won't blast you with one of his other tentacles. Now it's not a combat roll. Roll two dice. If the total of the two dice is equal to or higher than your present skill, the tentacle wraps itself around your body. You go to 16 here and you die horribly. <laughs> if the total is less than your present skill, it misses you, so you seize your chance and plunge Edge into the beast and kill it. It's actually one of the more reasonable ones, actually. Yeah, it's like, okay, so it's a pretty skillful creature, and if you if you lost some skill along the way, this is going to be a difficult fight. But even if you fail by a little, you still get another chance. Uh, admittedly, you, you've... It's going to be difficult because you then have to roll on that skill that's kind of low. Yeah. But you get two chances there. That's two, which is more roll... than most of the encounters, to be fair. Or you just roll really rubbish and you just die. Yeah, it's like, it's just one to one. You're like, well, that's just me. Rip. But fortunately, we rolled 17 on 2d6. So we did. Uh... We we rolled a lot. So I, I just like the idea. That you actually just don't. You just pull out a gun and you just <laughs> shoot him. Pull out, you reach into my breastplate and just pull out a Glock. Boom, 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 and he's like, oh, fun fact, Jesus! Fun fact, uh, spoiler alerts, by the way, for an ancient video game. That's actually how you win Ultima Martian Dreams. What, you, play you, a try to, you, you try to attack, attack a wiz- kill a wizard who's, like, controlling the dreams of all the Martians, but he can deal, counter any weapon that he knows about, but because he doesn't know you're from Earth, you just create an assault rifle and you shoot him. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. Like, he's just like, I know all weapons known to man on Glovefla, the land about, of eternal what about, torment. Uh, what about automatic rifles? An Wait. automatic what now? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Just mow him down with a Tommy gun or something. It's like the Harry Potter joke, isn't it? It's like, why, like, what, like, your one, if you duel your ones, well, they will counteract you. So Harry just pulls out a fucking gun and shoots him. <sighs> but 69. As the mudworm sinks back into the pool, ow! Sorry about that, old chap. It's all right. I accept my fate. You cheating. I only cut point. off three, so now you're a you're well. You only lost one, right? But so... I'm dying. Oh, they were quite. I mean, you probably can't just lop off that much flesh and be fine. I don't no. Know. Uh, well, at least there's no plague in this part of the swamp. You'll be fine. It's full of plague. Oh shit! It's full of plague. Oh, oh now I feel bad. Well, I feel bad for like five minutes. I forget it existed anyway. All right, come on, Lander. Let me get you on. Get out of this thing. Oh, there we go. Whew. Orlando, we have three Orlando from the tentacle, which is still wrapped around him. Only his snout remains above the mud as your friend is dragged slowly down. You summon all of the strength you have to pull him out. Oh, I guess. Here you go. Mm, maximum effort, then. Oh, there we go. And I carry him safely to the pool. Oh, whew, we. What will they call the swamp now the mudworm is dead? Ha! Uh, it won't be mudworm swamp anymore, will it? It'll be more like... It's more than one of swamp. them, I'm afraid, Goldhawk. Oh. 
by our records, although they're an endangered species, there's actually 487,522 of them. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess. Most of them, however, live so deep in the swamp that you don't typically see them. It's kind of, uh, kind of deflating me a smidge, but that's fine. I guess. Well, well originally there were only a couple, but a very successful preservation breeding program uh, saved them, and then fortunately it went a little bit out of control. I think it was something to do with yum yum gum. Maybe that's the real secret. <laughs> yep. Oh well, uh, I thought you might say that. I was a bit sad about it, but uh, you know, never mind. Let's get going. We can't be far from the other slime beast thing that is suspiciously like this slime beast that isn't really that we need to kill. So, but it's, it's not the slime beast. So, we have like that chapter, that chapter. Ooh. Wait, like I'm, I'm are... missing a page. <laughs> My four is only one page, which I think is not quite right. Oh dear, your 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 four is only one page. Uh, your four is actually should be three pages. I I am I am I am a pageless pageless fool. Oh, are you are you do you have like four? And I then have four, it... then it goes to five B. <laughs> wow, you're missing more than than just that. You're missing two pages. Yeah, maybe actually maybe they're stuck together. Maybe. Oh, they're they're oh they're stuck together. I've got them. Oh, ah, oh, there we go. We're what? good. It's got like oh, a, a broken two, ship on it. You have two choices here. Consider the fact that you're melting. You could either carry on through the remaining three chapters, or we could save them for a grand finale. Should we do a grand finale then? Yeah, the grand finale of 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 this epic tale of yum yum gum and and uh, suspicious swamp beasts that may and, or may and... not be quite polite. And, and, a, and a boatman who really picked a bad place to start his business. I mean, to be honest, I feel that anyone who sets a business off in the swamp, including the 13 people in the in the small village of Doom... I mean, really, they're marketing. They should, they should call it, like, please come here so that we can stab you. That would be a much better name. Maybe they just can't... None of them can read or write, and so they managed to just about get a word that looked like Doom, and that's what everyone assumed it was. What do you see? We were actually trying to write Spoon, but, uh... No one we knows what a spoon how, like, is around here, is it? So we try and we don't, do it just... Yeah. We don't know how the S and the P work, but we do know what the D is, so it's, uh... It's, it's doom. Yeah, I mean, that's the closest we can get, it? It's fine. We just, uh, you know... you got to make do when you live in a swamp. Yeah. Ain't no pens. Had to use, uh... Had to use Fiery, fiery, fiery Jim's arm to paint it on. Yeah. That's why there's uh, not 14 people here now. Sadly, he died to... Two skill insect... He lost, too, he lost too many skill points when we cut his arm off. In, in iterations of two. He only yeah, had one yeah, left. And he had an option like, to go to like 26C, but he uh, foolishly took 26B. So he, uh, he died in it. You know what these books don't have? They don't have a bit where it's like, you cheated. <laughs> oh, you mean uh, like, uh, you, you know, like they did when they come to us? Yeah. Wait, they cheated? Oh, yeah, well, damn yeah. it. I mean, how do they get all the options? They didn't know. They didn't know psychics. <sighs> damn it. Yeah, it should be like cheers. Go to uh, go to the back of the book, and it just says, it just open it, and it says fuck you. It's, it's great. Some of the books they're just like, if you have this item, turn to this is like, and you're like, I definitely have this item. And it goes, no, you there don't, is no liar. way you could have this item. We didn't give it to you. And it's, it's like, like it's like one of those games where you can like uh, console command an item into your bag, and it says on the item like you shouldn't have this. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean I shouldn't have this? Nonsense. Clearly, there, this are, is a... there, are, there are a scant few games out there where if you do cheat, the game will blatantly call you out on it. It's like, hmm, you have this thing, do you? I wonder how you got that. Yeah, literally. It's like, you made it here in record time, which is unusual. <laughs> so next time, though, we are going to yeah. finish book three of Goldhawk. Yeah, and then there's only one more book left. Yeah, then we've got uh, Ghost Road, which, which is actually, I think not is falling apart. Bit. Actually, I think Ghost Road's one of the best books. I think Ghost Road's probably the best book overall. It's like when they're just getting into the stride, you're like, oh boy, can't wait for the fifth book! Oh! Yeah, Ghost Road's got some of the creepier, more interesting puzzles in it as well, I think. It does. And, and then, unfortunately, that's when I think the money free live is to run out. We only paid you for four. It's like, but I really want to know It's like, you're not going to pay me, are you? No. Yeah, the, the only the only, the only, only place that we're selling these is, is into libraries around the country. <laughs> no one like, is actually every, buying these books. Seriously, every single copy, like, apart from the copies I got when I was young, which I got from those, like, traveling library things, Yeah. was from, is every one I buy now is from a library. Yeah. It's, it's funny, isn't it? Because, like, I guess it's just that kind of book that libraries had because. You tend to read them once or something, then you you hand them back, and then you know, it's not like a it's not like a 
Oh boy, a like, keepy kind of book. Some of them, though, some of the the choose your own adventure books genuinely had multiple paths you could go through. They and did. So there yeah. was replayability, but not Goldhawk, which has. 21 sections and an intro and the 21st section is you win so I, really it only has 20 sections yeah because this is like for ages what five to seven ish sort of i guess it's 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 what's it uh does it have it in here and some, they used to have like sometimes you had the recommendations for these things didn't they yeah. uh this got first published 1995 penguin books reproduction by such and such uh also oh also in the series, Dark Moon's Curse, the Demon Spider. Oh, does it go down there? It does have that. I wonder if, like, there's there's prints of the book which were when Ghost Road was also out, and it has all of them in there. Oh, it probably does. I don't actually have the on this particular version. There's no. Um... It's, it's in the very. It's in the very front. It says also in this. Um... Oh, maybe I'm missing that. You probably are, but. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm missing it, maybe. Something tells me that I don't think Ian Livingston is going to be uh, putting money into someone making a video game of all the Goldhawks into one massive, super-compiled adventure. That'd be super, super... I was going to say cool, but it wouldn't be, really. It'd be kind of mediocre and disappointing. But, you know, it'd be be interesting, nonetheless. You'd finish it in half an hour. Yeah, you'd be like, this is a cool get... Oh, it's done. I mean, to be honest, half an hour is better than some of the DLC garbage you pay for these days. It's done. How much did I spend on this? £25. I mean, that would be pretty, that's pretty bad value for money. That would be pretty bad value for money. I mean, you better finish it and still get a refund on Steam, so, you know. Oh! For extra spice. Ooh. Controversial. But, that, but that's bad. That Don't is. That. That, that's, that's stealing. Or cheating, which maybe is in the spirit of the book. Cheating, yes. Literally stealing <laughs> the people that, genera- that made the game out of their money, however. That's true. That's a naughty. Really, really, what you should do is instead is you should go, okay, now you have to write eight more books and put them on there as well. No, that's the punishment for you refunding it. It says, I'll give you a refund as long as you write another one that someone else can steal off you, and then they have to write another one. It's like a chain letter. You have to keep writing gold Suddenly we books. have 28 advent- additional adventures of darkness. It's like, oh boy, the Ghost Road Electric Boogaloo, we're back! Turns out that the bride <laughs> had a sister, and the sister is mad oh, to summon the ghost of the Mudworm Swamp. To- <laughs> ghost Road 3, Ghost Harder. Ugh. Ghost Road, Ghost Road actually has some really fun, like a uh, visual, yeah. pu- like visual um, yeah. stuff as well. We had to like count it's... things on the pages yeah. and stuff. It, it's like I'm just, I'm just remembering the. Um... I just imagine Ghost Road Three. <gasps> Goldhawk, there's no time to waste. Get on the magic motorbike of dreams. <laughs> Let's go. We've got another, another wedding to stop. <laughs> what is it with us and crashing weddings? At least this one is in the parallel dimension of Narg. <laughs> Luckily, it's only the third time we've been to Narg. We know our wait, way wait, there now. Wait, 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 we should stop talking. E. Livingston might be listening to this and he might be stealing our ideas. But if he steals our ideas, we can chain letter him to making more Goldhawk books. <gasps> I've got to be honest. I bet if you talk to Ian e. Livingston, like, do you write sign my Goldhawk books? He's like, one of these. <laughs> yeah, he's just getting a gold walk now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I blotted Goldhawk out of my memory. I don't know who this is. Do you know the funny thing is? I think we're the only people on YouTube who've actually done this. Oh, it's it's glorious and terrifying at the same time. I'm actually kind of curious. If we go to YouTube and type in Goldhawk... Uh, Gold... This is when someone is like, I am the Goldhawk lore master. I know everything about Goldhawk. Goldhawk, it's 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 just us. It's it's literally just us. I'll tell you what, of all the things I've achieved in my life, they'll be like, well, they were the people that made the Goldhawk videos on YouTube. I'm like, great, way to, way to focus on that part. Yeah... Wait. Way to focus on gold talk. Like that, that's all we that's all we remembered for. Is like, do you remember us for all those let's plays stuff we made? Let's what now? Uh, they're, they're the idiots uh, of gold hawk. Yay! Gold hawk, yay! Uh... Anyway, you're, you're belting. Yes, it is extremely, extremely warm here. Unfortunately, it's getting very warm here too. Yay, so, heat! Thank you very much for joining me once again. No, no problem. But next time we shall end mudworm swamp. Woo! Just drain it. <laughs> oh yeah, just yeah, just get like one of those industrial like pumpers out there. <laughs> But then we'll find the plague water, and then we can sell it. That's immoral. That is immoral. But that's something that Maris might do. It would be, yes. You know, it's like, it what would, would Maris do? You know, you can put it on your car, you can think about it. <laughs> I'm now very tempted to find a bumper sticker of what would Maris do. <laughs> That'd be great, yeah. We, so there's new, new options for our merch shops. <laughs> what, what would, would Maris, Maris do? Maris Stick it on do? the back of your car. <laughs> and everyone's like, who's Maris? And then you get scorched. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> all right. right. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Nope. And uh, we'll see you all next time for an, in, you uh, shall, indeed. in like a Karazan few minutes. Yeah. Should, should be, should be, yeah. All right. Cheers. Take Later. care.